प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड डू हिट द बेल आईकॉन हेलो टू ऑल योर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक सोर्सेस ऑफ ड्रग्स एंड दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एज फार एज योर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम फॉर फाइव मार्क्स दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी गिवन सो स्टार्टिंग विद द डिस्कशन ऑफ सोर्सेज ऑफ ड्रग्स देर आर फोर सोर्सेज ऑफ ड्रग्स दीज आर नेचुरल सोर्स सेमी सिंथेटिक सोर्स सिंथेटिक सोर्स एंड बायो सिंथेटिक सोर्स ऑल्सो नोन एज जेनेटिकली इंजीनियर्ड द फर्स्ट स्टार्टिंग विद द नेचुरल सोर्स विच इज द मोस्ट प्रिमेटिव एंड अबंडेंट वन ड्रग्स आर ओपन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग सोर्सेज दीज आर प्लांट्स एनिमल्स मिनरल्स एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स सो फर्स्ट स्टार्टिंग विद द प्लांट्स सोर्स आर लाइक लीव बार्क फ्रूट and seed from these or sources will have we can have the drugs like for example plants such as digitalis the digitalis leaves are been used from which the drug decoxin can be extracted out and this decoxin can be used for the treatment of congestive heart failure similarly from the plant cinchona bark of the cinchona has been used from which quinine drug has been extracted that can be used for the treatment of malaria next opium fruit is been used from which morphine drug is been extracted that can be used as analgesic similarly eserin plant seeds are been used from which anticholin esterase can be extracted out which can be used in the treatment of myasthenia gravis so these are certain examples next important pharmacological active principles in plants are alkaloids glycosides oils resins gums and tannins so we'll check out all these one by one first of all starting with alkaloids these are nitrogenous heterocyclic bases which are pharmacologically active principles of plants they are composed of carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen they are bitter in taste and often poisonous therefore these are used in small doses they are insoluble in water however they form salts with acids which are soluble in water examples of alkaloids are like atropine which is extracted from atropa belladonna plant Quinine is extracted from cinchona bark, morphine from papaverum somniferum that is your poppy, reserpine from Rolfia serpentina, nicotine from tobacco leaves. As you can see these drugs are ending with the term INE in. So any drug that is ending with which is having this suffix in are normally alkaloids okay so alkaloids names usually ends with in that is i n e next talking about glycosides they are either like combination of sugar moiety with non sugar moiety okay so here there will be a glucose which is which is attached with a non sugar part which is nothing but your glycosides okay so sugar and non sugar bond together with an ether like combination is nothing but your glycosides they are glycosides if the sugar moiety is glucose okay sugar moiety is not essential for pharmacological activity but it governs the pharmacokinetic properties of the glycosides in the body it may be removed to liberate a glycone okay a glycone is nothing but non sugar non sugar moiety is also known as a glycone and sugar moiety is known as glycone okay so as such glucose or your glycone part does not have any pharmacological activity but the a glycon have got pharmacological activity and to produce that action of a glycon we require the assistance of the sugar moiety pharmacological activity resides in the non sugar moiety that is called a glycon or genin some examples are digitoxin decoxin and ovin next talking about oils they are liquids which are insoluble in water they are of three types and are used for various medicinal purposes such as essential oil or volatile oil fixed oil and lastly mineral oil so we'll 
uh, have some points regarding essential oils or volatile oils essential oils are obtained from leaves or flower petals by steam distillation and have an aroma they have no caloric or food value they do not form soaps with alkalis they do not have greasy stains after evaporation on prolonged stay they do not become rancid or foul smell some of these oils are solid at room temperature and sublime on heating for example menthol and camphor other examples are clove oil peppermint oil eucalyptus oil and ginger oil next we'll see some of the uses of these essential oils like carminative for expulsion of gases from stomach ginger oil and eucalyptus oil are often used as carminatives antiseptic that is mouth washes for flavoring agents peppermint oils are been often used pain reliever pain relieving agents like clove oil for toothache acts as counter irritant next talking about the fixed oils fixed oils are glycerides of stearic oleic and palmitic acid they are obtained from seed that are present within the cell crystals of droplets they are non volatile and leave greasy stains on evaporation they have caloric or food value they form soaps with alkalis on prolonged stay they become rancid they do not have marked pharmacological activity and have little pharmacological use except castor oil which is used as purgative or arachis oil which is used as an demulcent they may be of vegetable origin like example olive oil croton oil and peanut oil or of animal origin like for example cod liver oil shark liver oil and lard so you can see for fixed oil everything all the properties all the features are quite opposite to that of the volatile oils or you can say essential oils next talking about mineral oil mineral oil mostly petroleum products are extracted by fractional distillation these are mixtures of hydrocarbons of the methane and related aliphatic series these are extracted in various consistencies like hard paraffin soft paraffin and liquid paraffin hard and soft paraffins are used as vehicle for preparation of ointment while liquid paraffin is employed as a purgative next this was all about the oils next talking about the fourth uh, kind of uh, no a uh, plant source that is resins resins are ill defined solid substances found in plants and are polymers of volatile oil they are produced by oxidation and polymerization of volatile oil they are insoluble in water but soluble in alcohol chloroform and ether examples are oleic resin that is aspidium gum resin like asafoetida oleogum resin like mir balsams like benzoin tolu and peru benzoin shellac and polyphylum next talking about uses of resins benzoin is used as inhalation in common cold tinctured benzoin is applied as antiseptic protective sealing over bruises colophony and oleo resin is used as an ingredient in various plasters shellac from lucifer laca is used for enteric coating of tablets balsams are used in the treatment of cough and bronchitis for their antiseptic and protective properties podophyllum is used as an irritant purgative now talking about gums gums are colloidal exudates from plants which are polysaccharides chemically and yield sugars on hydrolysis upon addition of water some of them swell to of dissolve or form adhesive mucilage or remain unchanged uses of gums gut ag that was gum sorry gum agar and xylem seeds act as hydrophilic colloids and functions as bulk purgative 
gum acacia and gum tragacanth are used as suspending agents in making emulsions and mixtures next lastly talking about tannins tannins are nitrogenous phenolic plant constituents which have an astringent action pyrogallol tannins are glycosides of glucose that occur in oak galls pyrocatechol tannins are sugar free derivatives of catechol that are present in catechu and eucalyptus Tannic acid is tannin that is obtained from oak galls and is used for treating burns and diarrhea. So this was all about the plant source. So we were talking about the natural source in which we completed the plant source. Next we'll talk about the animal source. So some animal source continue to be used to produce some modern drugs because of cumbersome and expensive procedure for the synthesis of such chemicals for example insulin extracted from pork and beef pancreas is used for the treatment of diabetes mellitus thyroid powder for the treatment of hypothyroidism heparin is used as an anticoagulant hormones and vitamins are used as replacement therapy vaccines such as cholera tuberculosis smallpox polio and anti rabies and sera like anti diphtheria and anti tetanus are used for prophylaxis or for treatment so this was all about the animal source next talking about the mineral sources minerals or their salts are useful pharmacotherapeutic agents for example ferrous sulfate is used in iron deficiency anemia magnesium sulfate is employed as purgative magnesium trisilicate aluminum hydroxide and sodium bicarbonate are used as antacids for hyperacidity and peptic ulcer Kaolin that is aluminum silicate is used as adsorbent in anti diarrheal mixtures radioactive isotopes of iodine phosphorus gold are employed for diagnosis or treatment of diseases particularly malignant conditions so this was about the mineral source now lastly we will discuss about the microorganism many life saving drugs are obtained from fungi molds and bacteria okay so these are the drugs which are synthesized from microorganisms and they are used for killing other microorganisms so drugs like penicillin is it is obtained from penicillium notatum chloramphenicol is produced from streptomyces venezuelae graciofluvin obtained from penicillin graciofulvin streptomycin from streptomyces gracias neomycin obtained from streptomyces friday so this was all about the natural source now we'll start this semi synthetic sources of drugs sometimes semi synthetic processes are used to prepare drugs when the synthetic drugs that is complex molecules may be difficult expensive and uneconomical or when the natural sources may yield impure compounds in these situations this method plays an important role for example human insulin and 6 amino penicillinic acid derivatives these are prepared by chemically modifying substances that are available from natural source improved to improve its potency efficacy and also reduce side effects so we'll have some examples semi synthetic drugs from plant source heroin from morphine bromoscopolamine from scopolamine home atropine from atropine so these are the examples of semi synthetic drug obtained from plant source similarly we'll have certain examples of semi synthetic drugs from animal sources animal insulin changed to be like human insulin six amino penicillinic acid derivatives so this was all about semi synthetic source next we'll talk about the synthetic sources of drugs 
At present, majority of drugs used in clinical practice are prepared synthetically such as aspirin, oral antidiabetics, antihistamines, amphetamine, chloroquine, chlorpromazine, general and local anesthetics, paracetamol, phenytoin, synthetic corticosteroids, sulfonamides and so on and so forth and number of drugs are there. Most of the synthetic drugs are prepared synthetically that is by chemical processes or chemical reactions with the help of the knowledge of phytochemical investigation. Alterations are made on the naturally found structure of the drug to improve its effect and to improve the finances of pharmaceutical companies. Advantages of synthetic drugs are they are chemically pure. The process of preparing them is easier and cheaper. Like if you are extracting any drug from plant source or from animal source, we don't know about the purity. Like purely you are getting that chemical or any other chemical are also added upon with it. But in case of synthetic drug, the advantage of synthetic drug is we are getting pure form of drug. Whatever chemical we want, we are getting exactly that chemical. We are not getting any other chemical added chemical in it control on the quality of the drug is excellent over here since the pharmacological activity of the drug depends on its chemical structure and physical properties more effective and safer drugs can be prepared by modifying the chemical structure of the prototype drug okay so any kind of drug can be obtained by synthetic source some chemical alteration and a new chemical entity will be synthesized so this was all about the synthetic source now lastly talking about the biosynthetic source also known as the genetically engineered drugs this is relatively a new field which is being developed by mixing discoveries from molecular biology recombinant dna technology dna alteration gene splicing immunology and immunopharmacology some of the recent developments are genetically engineered novel vaccines such as Recombinex Hb that is hepatitis B, recombinant DNA engineered insulin that is hemolin which is nothing but human insulin for diabetes and interferon alpha 2a and interferon alpha 2b for hairy cell leukemia. For instance, Genetically engineered hepatitis B vaccine formation will check out here. So first of all, genetic material that is DNA is extracted from hepatitis. Next, the responsible gene that direct the surface protein is seen. After this, the gene is removed from the virus DNA and inserted into plasmid. Next, these plasmids are then inserted into yeast cells. Next. Yeast is then grown by fermentation. Cells reproduce and generate large amounts of surface protein. Next, after 48 hours, yeast cells are ruptured to free the surface protein which is then extracted and purified. After this, large quantity of surface protein thus produced is stabilized with, with preserving agents and other ingredients to make the vaccine and finally, Hepatitis B virus is ready. So this is how the, uh, no, what to say, by the genetically engineered is being used for the synthesizing the new drug. Okay, so this was all about the various sources of drugs. I hope you people found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.